Hello everyone. In this video, I wanted to talk about the origins of Pat and Fane and Mortis, two weird and interesting characters that we first meet in the Eye of the World, the first book in the Wheel of Time series. This video will contain spoilers for the Eye of the World and the Grey Hunt. Let's do this. Pat and Fane is a peddler from the country of Mirindi. During his 20s, he was promised immortality in exchange for his services to the Shadow. Pat and Fane accepted this offer and so he became a dark friend. At some point, he was chosen by the Shadow for a very important mission. He went to Shiogul and met with Balsamon. Balsamon gave Fane some very special powers to help him in this very important mission. Pat and Fane's mission was to find the Dragon Reborn and his new special powers gave him the ability to track down the ones that could be the prophesized hero. After a while, he finally managed to find three boys that could be the Dragon Reborn. He found them in a small village called Emmons Field. These three boys were Matrim Cawthon, Randall Thor, and Perrin Ibarra. Pat and Fane brought Trollocs and Merjuals to attack the village and to capture the three boys. But Pat and Fane's plan failed because Moraine Dalmadred, Anaisa Dai, and Lan Mandragoran, her warder, were also in the village searching for the Dragon Reborn. The three boys were saved by the Aes Sedai and her warder and they decided to take the boys to Tarvalon to keep them safe from the shadow. On their journey, they stopped at a very dangerous place called Shadar Logoth and it is here where we first meet Mordis. During the Trolloc Wars, the Kingdom of Arathal saw itself at the forefront of the war and after years of fighting, the King of Arathal, King Baldwin, began to realize that victory over the Trollocs was impossible. It was at this time that a mysterious man arrived in Arathal and he began counseling King Baldwin. This mysterious man was Mortis. Mortis hated the Shadow more than anything and he told the king that in order to defeat the Shadow, his kingdom needed to become even more ruthless than the Shadow itself. King Baldwin thought this was a good idea, so he took Mordid's advice and so Aretha became a bloodbath. The city was consumed by fear and hatred and its citizens started turning on each other. After some time, the Manetheran army went to Aretha and to their surprise, they found absolutely nothing. Every living thing had somehow disappeared from the capital. The Manetheran army felt the presence of a great evil in Arithal and they renamed the now haunted city Shadarlogoth, which means place where the shadow waits. This evil presence that now haunted Shadarlogoth was Mashadar, which is a silvery mist that hunts anything that enters the city, its favorite prey being Shadowspawn. Mordith, King Baldwin's mysterious former advisor, somehow survived Arethal's demise, but he was now trapped within Shadarlogoth. The only way he could escape the haunted city was for someone to arrive in Shadarlogoth and then lure them to the city's borders where he would take over their body by consuming their soul. On the night that Moraine's group arrived in Shadarlogoth, Mordith tried to lure the boys to the city's borders, but he was unsuccessful. Thankfully for him, Pat and Fane and his Shadowspawn army also arrived in Shadalogoth in pursuit of the three boys, and Mordith was successful in luring Pat and Fane. When Mordith tried to consume his soul, he found that Fane's soul was touched directly by the Dark One himself. Mordith did not manage to overtake Pat and Fane's body, he was only able to merge with him. Mordith's hatred for the Shadow, combined with Pat and Fane's unique powers, resulted in a very evil and unique creature. 